Hello, my name is Althea Chan. I'm a classical pianist and teacher. This is my first video. I'm a little nervous talking in front of the camera, but um, I always find filming and making videos fun. And I love the idea of being able to share my thoughts with the world and not just my students. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. And today's video is going to be about a two week challenge. I studied music at Oberlin Conservatory of Music and back then in our junior year we had a jury where we had to learn and memorize a piece of music and then perform it in front of the entire faculty. I was absolutely freaking out and I was calling my mom every day telling her that I couldn't do it, that was crazy, I was gonna fail my exam, I, I think I cried a few times. So the other day I was talking to a very good friend of mine who was in the same jury with me and we were just wondering how would we feel about the piece today, 12 years later. For the past few years, I've been busy teaching and also exploring other career paths outside of the music world, so I think I'm a little rusty in the fingers, but working in other fields and teaching actually helped me think better. So I wonder if I could learn this piece faster now. I know it feels a little like cheating to learn the exact same piece, but back then in college, all I had to do was to practice. And I remember I was practicing that same piece for eight hours a day. But now I have a full working schedule. I probably only have, I don't know, sometimes 15 minutes a day or at most an hour to practice. And it's been 12 years. I doubt that I remember anything from the piece. So I guess it evens it out. I remember back in college, I used to practice mindlessly every day. I thought the more I practice, the better it gets. So I just need to repeat it over and over again. Now I realized working harder is not the key. Working smarter is. So I'm gonna share a few tips on how I memorize and learn pieces, what I look for and how I analyze the pieces. I hope those tips could help someone out there. All right, let's go practice. Before I even get to the piano, I usually look through the score while listening to the recording to get an overview of the piece. So first, I'm gonna go on this great website called IMSLP. I get most of my scores in here if I don't buy them. I'm going to put the link in the description. Alrighty, there we go. And now we're going to look for the usual video. I usually go for YouTube, but you can do Spotify or any other music platform. I just like being able to watch the pianist play as well. Alicia de la Rocha.
good coffee. It's a pretty good day today. A little bit of sunshine. So it's the second week and I think I'm quite ready now. I have roughly memorized the whole piece. I think I've memorized the whole piece on day four to be honest. Um, which is crazy because back in college it took me ages and I was struggling the whole time. Yeah, I cannot believe how easy it seemed to me. I mean, to be fair, I'm much older and hopefully wiser, so I should find it easier now. <laughs> but I think mainly um, for the last decade, I think it was mostly teaching that helped me think better and helped me do things more productively. I guess when your students are struggling with um, learning, you gotta figure out a way that's smarter than just, well, play it again, repeat it over and over, you'll get it. <laughs> and over the years I've been 
reading a lot of books about learning, about the signs of learning. I might make a video about that sometime in the future. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna finish my coffee and we're gonna start practicing.
So that's it. That was the end of the challenge. I'm actually quite happy about how it turned out. If there's one lesson I learned from this challenge is that having a plan and a strategy when we practice actually cuts the practice time in half. Not only that, I feel that I actually know the piece well instead of just playing from muscle memory. This was supposed to be a two week challenge, but I completed it by day eight, not because I'm smarter, but because I spent a lot of time thinking about strategies and practice being conscious when I play. Practicing like this is just way more effective and it saves you so much time. This was a very long video. If you're still watching, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I hope this video helps you with your practice in some ways. I'm going to share more tips like these on this channel in the future, so stay tuned and see you later.